Hey guys, Brenny here, and welcome to another build and play. Um, I know I haven't made one of these in a while, um, I always end up saying that in between episodes, because I would like to do at least one a week, but sometimes it's just like one week, I'll be like, oh, I don't want because like, look, I've got to dig out this whole area here. I started this, and the reason I placed all these torches was so when I broke and I hit, um, what's that stuff called? Uh, gravel? Yeah, it w broke it, or sand if I hit sand. Uh, I had to build this in between a lava thing, which kind of sucked, but I figured out how big it was pretty fast. Anyway, uh, this episode, we're not actually going to do anything with this, uh, unless the episode's a bit short. We are actually going to... Hmm, what do we got in here, actually? We don't want to... Uh, yeah, I know I have a lot in here. So we'll put away all this cobblestone. But yeah, we are going to be making an enchantment room. Not even really much making. Um, I haven't got a design or anything, really. I'm just giving a little idea. Uh, also, I'd like to make some glowstone block thingies or whatever they're called, but I don't know if I have the supplies. Uh, so we have some slime balls, sticky pistons. Uh, I think we need to get a reed farm going. Uh, we'll need some buckets, wood. I'm sure I have other wood. Redstone. Oh, I think I'm really low on redstone, though. I got 47. That might be enough. Um, now, I'll explain the idea of the piston... Uh, enchanting room I wanted to make because it's a bit different uh, to the one I normally use that I made a tutorial on and you guys may not have seen the video I mentioned it on but yeah basically I want it to ha it's it's not really a really semi automatic system basically each uh, book system will have its own piston connected to it so that I can adjust every single level and I thought that was a cool idea because I could really customize how high I want the enchant or how low and like say I wanted to do a level 50, 15 enchant on like 50 weapons, if I have it only to level 15 I can get, do that a lot faster. So that's what we'll be doing today. Um, there's some reeds over there, I don't know if I've actually collected reeds yet, so we'll go get some reeds and I might have to come back when I've grown a lot or something like that. But that shouldn't actually take that long because they grow super fast on um, sand compared to normal dirt. Um, uh, so much crap everywhere and I can never remember where I put stuff because like look that one's a random one There's stone stone and then a random one, but these are all stone. See it's just it's confusing for me to use this um, But yeah, we got some reeds. We need sand. Where's our sand at? Uh, there we go. All right, so we'll get some sand get some water and Then we will start our little reed farm and I'll be back actually you know what you guys can see my little start of a reed farm too I would like to show more in these I've got <laughs> I've really got an in-between thing going on the hardcores I show everything and on these I show like only the hardcore work and I want to have an in -bet I want the build and place to be like I show work and a bit boring not boring stuff but like less oh my god look at that kind of thing but I always end up just showing the like main builds and I don't want to do that. I want to show the little reed farms. I want to show all the other stuff and I'll try my hardest to do that from now on because it is what entertains me and you guys, I suppose. Because when I watch people's videos, I have no clue, no like problem watching uh, people make reed farms. Uh, but I don't really know how I'm going to build this. So far, I've just done this. I think I might... um. Alright, so these are four. kind of like doing it like this for some reason. Um, dig that out, and hmm, how many is that? Four times four, so sixteen. We'll make it four times five, so we have twenty. And maybe we should have them eight long as well. Yeah, we'll do it eight long just to get the most out of it. So like that, all the way over here. Um, but yeah, like recently I've been thinking that just like. I, I have so many videos I want to do, but like when I do a different style of video, that pisses some people off. And I don't know, um, like I wanted to remake all my tutorials because A, I can t make tutorials a lot better, B, I can understand them a lot better, and C, it's just the game's updated kind of thing. Um, see that? Letter usage? Fucking pro letter usage right there. Get some of that. Um, put this here. And one more down here and then we will block this one up because I can't stand when things aren't the same there we go now we'll get these oh, sugar canes I always call them reeds you guys probably like they're not reeds god you idiot um, yeah we'll do it like that and then I think I'll go and put some half slabs over the top of it and around it just to pretty it up 
But yeah, like, I wanted to make basically all the redstone basics, like AND gates, uh, re repeaters and NOT gates, I think they're called, or inverters, uh, and just things like that, just because it's been so long since I've done them, and when I YouTube them, it's really only me that has them, and those videos have a lot of views, and like, they're fine, but they're out of date, and they're not as good as they could be, and I'd like to, I seriously have nothing, where's all my stuff? There it is. Um, yeah, I'd like to remake all that, but yeah, we'll see. Oh crap, I shouldn't have probably done that many, especially because you get six now. Yeah, ah oh, crap. Alright, doesn't matter. It's too late to go back. Um, where, where did I build my little build? But yeah, so we'll build our enchanting room in this episode. Um, uh, thinking here, I'm thinking like just a solo enchanting room, have things spread out a bit. Um, I don't, I'm not really want one to put everything in one area, apart from like mob things, I like the idea of doing that, but I never really end up doing it. Also, I've been working on a mob spawner that I made a tutorial for ages ago, and it was actually the one that got me big, and um, well not big, started my channel out, and I removed the videos because at one patch it was out of date, the rest of the patches, and now it's in date. But that one patch, it was out of date, and I was like, oh no, I don't want people seeing old videos. So I removed 13 parts that had about 10,000 views each, and they were all um, mob spawner related and old school me when I was still learning to commentate. And it was it was hard to do, but I thought it was would be better. But now in the long run, it turns out it probably wasn't that great of an idea. I will put these away. I got out way too much sand as well. Oops. Get that. Um... Also, the other day when, uh, yesterday's video, or I don't know when the video was, but, uh, I did upload a Pit Frenzy tournament, and I actually met one of my subscribers that has been with me and is now huge since 500. Uh, if you guys have heard of Crafted Movie, um, yeah, he was actually one of my first 500 subs, uh, and the reason I know it so specifically, like, what number he was, was because at, um... 500 subs I started a small server with people and yeah he was actually one of the players of that so it was it was cool and I'm sure he's not subscribed now because I've changed over those times not in a bad way but I've just the I used to be purely tutorials I never really had an LP and now I'm doing like LPs and into other stuff and I understand if he's not subbed but it, it was really cool to know Sorry about that guys, I had a small interruption. Anyway, I'm going to grow these reeds and basically cut, collect some. I think I might collect... How many stacks would I need? I think you need three reeds in a line to make paper. I don't know, I think I'll collect like eight stacks just because I think you do need a lot. But yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, actually, i got to finish off this one little part I wanted to do. I wanted to have like little parts over it. I bet I'll do that, I'll do that. We'll do that as a team. And then I'll come back and we'll get working on my little piston thing. I suppose I could actually start building it now, to be honest. This is going to be a totally different build and play till normal. Uh, so where will we build it? Maybe we could build it like here, like connect it on. It seems like a good idea. Have one there. No, so the door needs to be one wide. So that's not a cool idea because I don't. it's not going to line up properly and that will bug the crap out of me. Uh, so we'll build it just somewhere here on the grass. So we'll just do this because I like to be able to walk over my crap. Like so. Do it here. And it just makes life so much easier. People use lily pads there. But I don't see the point of that because it's just so much effort to get a lily pad when you can make a half slab. And I think the half slabs look nicer. But that might just be me. Um, tell me, what do you guys prefer? The half slabs or the lily pads? Because I do notice a lot of people use the lily pads. Is that what they're called? Leafs? I don't know. doesn't matter. Um, there we go. Alright, so we're going to mark this out somewhere now. Uh, it might have a little rim up to it. So we'll build it about here. We'll just do it here. Alright, so we need one piston there, one piston there, one piston there. These should probably be in the ground, but they're not going to be because I don't want to do it like that. Uh, piston like that. Wait, <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm like, is that, is that the right amount? Yeah, it was. All right, so that's basically what we're going to have. And then I'm feeling I'm going to have like levers. I don't know, either pressed up to it or under it like this. And then I'll be able to like switch the levers and uh, adjust the books. So what I want to do now is get some, make some glowstone lights. And I don't actually know how to do them, but 
So I'm sure we need glowstone, so we'll just place some glowstone down and then break it. That just seems like a stupid idea, actually. I won't... Alright, we'll see if we have glowstone, and then if I don't, I'll go to the nether and get glowstone, which is gonna suck, because my nether's terrible. Uh, might put a nether portal at every end of this. I haven't even got to making my super farm yet, because there's just so many new things now that it will change, and I can do it differently. Um, I want to use the manipulation of light for some things, so, like, the light will turn off and then the, the thing will break, because I know a lot of things do do that. Um, right, do I have any glowstone? Doesn't look like it, so, you know what, we'll place some of these, just enough to get one glowstone. Uh, we don't need to break it with anything. Ah, uh, really? I think I have enough. Uh, then I think we need, I don't know if we need a redstone torch, or a... I've never actually made one of these guys, to be honest. I, um, like that, with a redstone torch? No? Redstone? Hmm. Wow, I don't know how to make these. Um, I will actually look it up then. I will be right back. Alright, so I broke all that glowstone for no reason. I think we just do that. Up oh, there. Boom. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, that was a waste of glowstone, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, people suggested, I uh, do I have an enchanting table yet? I do not think I have one. Um, probably because I don't have diamonds. Uh, we'll go downstairs in my other build and see, so I'll be right back again. That's pretty awesome, got my two diamonds and enough to obsidian, now I need to get my book. Uh, what, is there anything else in here we really want? Maybe some glass, uh, repeater, oops, what, what did I just take out? We'll put dirt away, that, don't need that. Um, hmm, I might make it out of nether brick. This looks nice, and I've got a lot of it for some reason. I think I was pulling apart the nether portals because I've never, well not nether portals, the nether strongholds because I'd never really seen one so I pulled it apart and figured I'd use the blocks. Uh, but this one light we have so far, I think I'm actually going to place it under um, my enchanting table because I got told that you can do like a nice looking light effect with it. So I might do that and then, um, oops, uh, basically when you walk into it, it will light up after a second and I think that would look cool. Uh, but I'll have to use half slabs as a floor just so that the um, monsters don't spawn in there if I'm not on peaceful because I play peaceful on this world. Which I really, I was really thinking about like should I play peaceful on this world but um, don't think it matters. When you have the option it doesn't really matter in my opinion. Um, oh, so that seems to be growing pretty badly. I may need actually light in there. Uh, do I have any... I don't want to use glowstone just because when you place it and if you don't like it, you can't really remove it. Uh, could do a, well, at every end, we will have a little block like this. Maybe every two just because that will make it look nicer. Um, there and there. There we go. And we'll go on this side and then I'll make it day and, hmm, I don't know, am I going to progress? on this build. Oh, I can't really progress on this build because uh, I've got like got to grow this. So yeah, I'll be right back again, again, again. So I figured why we were waiting for this to grow because it's still taken a pretty long time. We could mark out areas. So um, this is how we want the uh, what are they called? Bookshelves to be placed and then so this would be ground level I believe just here so I've got um got my half slabs because we want it like that then oh no nah, doesn't work like that I've got to cover up every part of it there we go I don't really like that I feel that if you're coming from a more below angle it should just auto detect that like hey I want this placed up kind of thing but yeah and also when you break two together I think whatever one you're aiming at they should be put in two parts so you could mine the bottom or the top just little ideas that I think of that would be helpful in my opinion um, there we go and so this is going to be made out of dark wood and uh, unless there's nether nether brick half slabs because um, I don't want like mob spawning in it so just put a bit of dirt there so this will be our floor um, this block here will be changed to glowstone, I believe. Um, so that will actually, oh no, the glowstone will stop there. And then this will be where our thing is. Uh, then we need to be 
placing more sticky pistons just about here and that's where the bookshelves will be so we'll get our little oh there we go <laughs> there we go um and the sticky piston will go there and that's how tall it's going to be i'm a bit worried about the height on it actually um maybe i'll make a way to get the top ones to work differently uh other than the bottom ones just bit although the bottom ones are raised so i don't know I have no clue actually how I'm going to get this to work, really, to be honest, if you haven't noticed. Uh, so that will go there, and then one more there, one more there, a little bit over here, down. Got to make sure I'm placing these in the right spot. Looks like it. And there. And that, how many freaking bookshelves am I going to have to make? This seems like it's going to suck. Um, like that. Uh, I don't really know how I'm going to go about making uh, the, like, pistons where the, I'm going to position the, like, switches. Like, I could just put, like, theoretically a, um, oh, we'll go make some switches. Uh, I know I have, like, a fucking ton of, uh, I'm blanking out wood. I have a lot of wood that I can make a lot of sticks with and make a lot of switches, see? Boom. I know how to speak sometimes. There we go, get out my, oh, put that there, wood, sticks, boom, 64, uh, need a stack of cobble and a stack of dirt to mark more crap out. There we go, we'll make 30 switches for now, i oh, probably actually need more than that, make 48. Oh, I always do them the wrong way, I don't know why, like, I, I did it right the first time, did I not? Even in the picture, look, cobblestone and then wood. I'm pretty sure I'm doing it right, but yeah, um, get over here, have our little area marked out. This video has been going for a while, I'm pretty sure of it, um, it doesn't matter, I'll just sit there and upload for triple the time, which is always fun. Um, oh, I can actually, hmm, do I want it? No. I don't know, I could put like a switch here, I suppose, and that would control these two, and you could get even more of a detailed enchant. So like that, and then that, and then I would break that, and do that, and that, and maybe have a switch here that you could flick that would not work, because I'm stu- Oh, now it works! When there's air under it, that's odd. It's pr I don't think that's meant to happen. Um, so we'd have it like that, then one block, oh, couldn't even put a block there, and a bit of redstone here. No? Mm, I don't know. I think I'll still put redstone there because I feel like it's not going to work if I don't. And then this switch could control that one. And we could do the same here. Uh, having that there with a switch on it, maybe. Like that. Oh no, that just looks uncomfortable. It's going to be not fun in here. There we go. I don't know. I will see. I think I'll just do it like this originally now because like when you think about it, what's that? Like one level or something, those two books. I'll break that. Need to break that. Um, okay. Yep. Awesome. Fill this all in. Awesome. I, d I actually moved my head then to look around to see if it was filled. Wow. I feel like an idiot. Um, there we go. And yeah, that should be how we're going to mark it out. Now we need to really think about how we want to use the switches, which is also more with design. Once again, I'm pretty sure this is going to be in a circle build. Although, hmm, no, I don't know. Uh, we can break this one. Like that, I think. Yeah. And, hmm, I'll come back when I have something because I'm clueless right now. Okay, so I've got a bit of progress done on the thing, but I can actually make my books now, not that I know how, well some books, just to actually build my enchanting table. Uh, there we go, put that down there. Really hate making these, it's just that there's such a process to make them. It's like, I feel like I have to go to a huge effort. Oh, what am I doing wrong? I forgot to make the books. God, these suck to make. Boom, three, we go. So after all of that, I only ended up with this many. Awesome. And there we go. I only need four. I made four. I re oh, actually, I need one of them books, don't I? Nearly messed up. I suppose all that messing up did help me in a way. There we go. 
get the enchanting table. Uh, I think I'll just put glowstone under it for now. Apparently the light goes through and it looks pretty cool. Um, that's what I got commented and it was summed up one time. Uh, so yeah, that was weird. My throat was like, alright. Put that there. And you'll see how the design is now. It looks kind of um, cool. I figured like I can get all of them. Um, they... It's not symmetrical, which is something unique to me, um, but I think it does look pretty cool. Uh, the books will go up, and then I was thinking of making a platform about, we'll get some dirt out, about to here, have it a bit circled off on the corners, but not really the whole design, and then I can walk around and change the levels if I want. Uh, the only thing is the top one seems kind of annoying. Um, I was actually thinking of having the top ones, but like switches here so I could do them. I don't really know though. Uh, I could probably do that for all of them. Have switches. I might actually do that, guys. Have the switches on the outsides like this so I can do it. And then, um, yeah, that seems right. I might end up doing it like that. So, how are we going to start off with this? I was actually going to cut that, but I was like, no, I want to show progress for once. Uh, so we'll break off all these switch. I'll actually pull it all apart and come back So I just looked at the time and realized I'd been going for like 22 minutes or something So the progression will have to wait till next video, but I promise you guys that will be up in less than a week um, And I hope you guys enjoyed this I did try to show a bit more because that's what I felt my videos were missing uh, I basically had taken out all the personality out of these videos where the crap uh, uh, Just make some iron blocks uh, yeah, I felt that I had taken out too much personality in my build and plays and it kind of deducted on them. I think that's the right word. I put torches around this one for some reason and I can't remember why. Um, hmm. Maybe there's, oh, I think there was like two blocks in there missing. That was so long ago. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Please leave a like, uh, and a comment. Maybe suggest builds. I've always... I felt like I'm not, I can build stuff and I'm creative when it comes to building it. I just don't have ideas of what to create. Uh, so yeah, feel free to leave comments of what you want to see me build. It doesn't actually have to have a purpose. Like it could be like build a bar or something, but make, make it kind of, I don't like building modern things in Minecraft. I like castles and towers and just random stuff like that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, bye.